Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mehir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve the problem sum based on value of supply under goods and service tax under the subject indirect tax, a very important topic for all the TYBFM SEM6 students. Okay, so in this, we will be first noting down the format and then we will be seeing, uh, you know, couple of problem sum, how to get the value of supply. So let us start with the topic, how to solve value of supply problem sum. Okay, now in order to calculate the value of supply, the very first thing what you need to note down is the value of supplied goods or services. That is the original value of your product. To that, we need to add all the taxes other than GST, add all the sets and duties, add all expenses which are incurred by the supplier, add all expenses incurred by the recipient on behalf of the supplier. We add all the subsidy other than the government subsidy. Government subsidy is exempted. Other than that, it will be added to the value of supply. Okay. When you add up all this, we get gross value of supply. To that, we need to subtract discount if it is given. And less GST, which is already inclusive. If your original value of supply contains GST, okay, so we'll have to first remove the GST, get the gross value, okay. On that, whatever will be your final value of supply, on that again, we'll have to charge GST. So first thing, we'll have to subtract GST, which is inclusive. Okay, so value of supply, you add up all the other expenses, you minus discount and GST inclusive, if any, okay, whatever will be your net amount, that is nothing but your value of supply. So in order to put this in, in graphical point of view, value of supply is nothing but the value of goods and services. To that, you have to add all the taxes other than GST, you add up all your cess and duties, all expenses incurred by the supplier and recipient on behalf of supplier, all the subsidy other than government, you add up all this to the value of goods and services and you subtract discount or GST inclusive if any. Okay, so when you add up value and less, okay, to the value of goods and services, finally whatever bill comes up, that is nothing but your value of supply. Okay, so to understand this, let us take the very first problem sum and try to find out the value of supply. Okay, now to understand uh, the topic on value of supply, we are going to take up two very, very, very important sum. Okay, which will clear all your doubt based on this particular topic. Okay, so this is the very first question. We are going to take up two sums which will clear all your doubts. Okay, so this is the question number one. Uh, Mrs. Gurunath, a registered supplier, provides you the following detail with respect to contract entered with MS uh, Sisha Enterprises for the supply of goods. So whenever you get, you know, a sum where the question is having this particular statement has entered into, uh, you know, a, another person, another party for supply of goods is always based on value of supply. Okay. After that, they are giving you value of goods inclusive of IGST. This particular price has already GST in it. Okay, whenever it is inclusive, always remember we will have to remove the value out. Uh, then they are giving you taxes other than GST, uh, expenses which were incurred by Guruna, who is the supplier, expenses which were incurred by uh, Shisha Enterprise on behalf of Guruna, so recipient has incurred some expense on behalf of the supplier. Expenses which were incurred by uh, Sisha Enterprise, that is the recipient, not on behalf of the supplier. And lastly, subsidy of 2000 was received from Udyan and NGO. Uh, calculate the value of supply, also calculate the tax payable. Now, this is all what has been mentioned in that particular question. Now, let us see how to solve this. Again, a very simple way, just you have to keep in mind our format that we had discussed earlier. That... First, you always need to note down the value of supply or the list price. Second, you keep adding all the things. Okay, you have to add all your expenses which are other than GST, all your sales, all your expenses incurred by the supplier, all the expenses incurred by the recipient other than uh, on behalf of the supplier, all the subsidy which are not government related, less discount. Okay, whatever you get the answer, that will be value of supply. On that, you will have to find your IGST, GST, whatever has been given to us. Okay, now in the sum, they are giving you IGST. So, we will have to take uh, the value on IGST. Okay, 
So now let us see how you start. Okay. So we'll note down the format is there. So we'll just have particulars, particulars and amount. Okay. Now the very first thing is the list price. Now it was given in the question that you know uh, it is inclusive of IGST. Okay. The value is given that value of good inclusive of IGST at eighteen percent is one lakh eighty eight thousand eight hundred. So we need to first get the value of supply, or you can say the list price. Okay. So I'll write here list price. Now the amount is inclusive, meaning that one lakh eighty eight thousand eight hundred is inclusive of GST of IGST of eighteen percent. And we have to remove that eighteen percent out. Okay. Whenever there is inclusive, always keep this method in mind. If base is hundred and eighteen percent is IGST, can I say this entire amount is nothing but hundred and eighteen percent? Because it already includes eighteen percent of GST. We need to only find the value other than the GST. So we need to find uh, the value of hundred percent. So you know we are finding the basically the value of X. So then we have to just cross multiply one lakh eighty eight thousand eight hundred into hundred divided by hundred and eighty. The value that you all should get is one lakh sixty thousand. So this is the value other than GST. Okay, exclusive of GST. One lakh eighty-eight thousand eight hundred into hundred divided by one one eight. One lakh sixty thousand was your list price. So our sum will always start with list price. Now we keep adding one by one whatever things have been given to us. Okay. So first they gave us uh, expenses other than GST. So yes, taxes. Sorry. Yes, it will appear other than GST. Yes, it gets added. So taxes other than GST. The amount is eighteen thousand five hundred. Will be taken into consideration. Okay, the next thing which is given there is expenses which are incurred by Guru Nath. So yes, all those expenses add. We have to write add expenses which are incurred incurred by the supplier. That was insurance charges, uh, freight charges. designing charges okay which had the value of 8000 5000 and 6000 so all the expenses which are incurred by the supplier needs to be considered second all the expenses incurred by the recipient on behalf of the supplier which is the next adjustment following expenses were incurred on behalf of gurunath That is testing charges. Yes, that also will be considered. So testing charges is three thousand rupees. Next uh, expenses of three thousand are incurred on transportation by Shisha Enterprise, but not on behalf. If it is not on behalf, cannot come here. Recipient expense that is his personal expense. It cannot appear here. So we ignore that. Next subsidy is given. So yes, other than government subsidies needs to be noted down. So there is a subsidy of two thousand rupees. We will note it down. Okay, that's it. Nothing else is given. That so we'll we'll add up the values. So I get one lakh sixty thousand plus eighteen thousand five hundred plus eight thousand plus five thousand plus six thousand plus three thousand plus two thousand. So our value comes to two lakh two thousand five hundred. Okay. Now on this amount, we need to add. In this case, sum it was given IGST. IGST at the rate of eighteen percent. So into eighteen percent. If I do, I get the value of thirty six thousand four hundred and fifty. You add it with your two zero two five hundred, and we will get our total value of supply, which is two lakh thirty eight thousand nine hundred and fifty. This is nothing but my value of supply. Okay. So this was the very first sum in which G the list price had uh, GST inclusive. So we'll have to remove the GST. This is the method to do that, and thereafter we have to just go as per the format. So this was the very first sum. Okay, I hope everyone have understood that. Now we will be picking up the second sum again based on value of supply with a different, uh, a bit of twist in it. Okay, so let us see the second variation how to solve that particular sum. Okay, the second question these are uh, Madras Shivai Udyog has provided the following particular relating to the goods sold by it to its Ganesh Enterprise. Again, sold by it. Whenever you have this contract with another party, it's always based on value of supply. 
they are giving you list price of the goods exclusive of expense taxes and discount 60000 now this sum is exclusive of tax the previous sum was inclusive so these are the two variations next tax levied by municipal corporation on above goods primary packing extra protein packing cgst sgst special printing weightment charges after the adjustments are given as uh, the ganesh enterprise receive 5000 as subsidy from life is good a non profit making organization price of 60000 is after considering such subsidy uh, shivai udyog offers 5% discount on the list price so now there is discount also here determine the value of supply of goods made by them and calculate cgst and sgst at 2.5% each so so now let us see how to solve this again very simple we'll note down the format that will be particulars and amount first will always be the list price or the value of supply so here the list price is exclusive so direct amount will take it as 60000 you add tax levied other than gst so yes tax levied will come which is 10000 next is primary packing okay yes that, that is also an expense it will appear which is 2500 next is extra protective packing so extra packing yes that is also an expense which is 1000 will be added next is cgst and sgst cannot appear here so that is excluded next is special printing Okay, special printing is 2500 and weightment charges. Weightment charges is 2000. So we have added that also. Next is Ganesh Enterprise receive 5000 as subsidy from life. Now that's not in government. So subsidy other than government will be added. Yes, so subsidy is rupees 5000 and that's it after that they are just giving you a discount now remember discount will always be less so discount given here is 5% on list price of 60,000 into 5% is 3,000 they are going to get a discount of 3,000 that's negative so we add up so I get the value as 60,000 plus 10,000 plus 2,500 plus 1,000 plus 2500 plus 2000 plus 5000 minus 3000 we get the value as 80000 on this 80000 we have to add up CGST and SGST at the rate of 2.5% each because that's given in the question so 80000 into 2.5% is 2000 to 2000 is CGST, 2000 is SGST. When you add up, you get the total value as 84,000. That is nothing but value of supply 84,000 rupees. Okay, so these were the two different types of sums which can come under value of supply one includes the list, uh, list price inclusive of GST, the other one exclusive of GST okay you can have with discount without discount okay but basically this is the format that you will have to remember okay the sum is very simple you just need to understand what are the things which is included and which are not included and based on that you all can solve any sum okay so i hope everyone have understood both the sums are based on value of supply with that we will be ending this video here thank you